We nourish our skin throughout life. We style it and fight it. The skin is the largest organ in the human body, representing 16% of the total body weight. It protects us against constant attacks from microbial pathogens like bacteria, chemicals and other environmental hazards. Underneath the skin's surface, our immune system forms a highly advanced defense system of cells that fights off most invaders. They are part of an impressive immune system that detects threats, mobilizes killer cells and prepares for future attacks. They work together to constantly keep a healthy balance in the microbiome of bacteria, fungi and viruses that are living on the skin. One in four people suffer from a severe skin disease such as psoriasis, atopic dermatitis or allergic contact dermatitis. These diseases can have severe consequences for quality of life and can lead to associated diseases such as depression and cardiovascular disease. Some skin diseases are even life-threatening, such as cancer in the skin. There are more than 3,000 different skin diseases and for most of them, there's no cure. Our goal is to understand the mechanism causing these diseases and hopefully this can be used to prevent the diseases but also to develop more specific treatment that will be better for the patients. This is easier said than done. Our skin is an incredibly complex organ. Together the cells are like a symphony playing together in harmony. But suddenly an out of pitch instrument triggers a disharmonic response in the entire music hall. This happens when our own defense system turns on the entire organism, attacking itself, leading to autoimmune diseases such as psoriasis. But which underlying mechanisms trigger the skin's responses? What happens in the skin that makes it react this way? This has puzzled skin researchers for decades. A condition can be triggered by uh, chemicals, genetic factors, bacteria or fungi. And it's very much up to the individual patient's uh, genetics, environment, uh, skin barrier, season of the year, and bacteria living on the skin. We need to understand all of these moving parts and their interaction. And new technology has made it possible for us to make serious headway in understanding all of these conundrums. Researchers at Leo Foundation Skin Immunology Research Center in Copenhagen work closely with hospitals to investigate blood samples and biopsies from patients. They even investigate discarded skin from surgeries. The goal is to determine the characteristics of the immune cells. This is done by analyzing the samples with flow cytometry that sorts the cells from a sample, making it possible to look at an entire cell population at once. For instance, a specific type of T-cell in skin with psoriasis or atopic dermatitis. Next step for the researchers is to dig even deeper and analyze all the molecules in a single cell. This requires the highly advanced technology called single cell sequencing. Single cell sequencing provides a great advantage. When we uh, researchers were uh, analyzing skin samples and uh, or let's say a tumor skin sample, we were only able to uh, look at the entire population and determine their overall uh, behavior and characteristics. But this is not sufficient if you want to understand the complexity and dynamics of the immune system. With single cell sequencing, we look at a single cell's entire molecular composition to determine the characteristics of the cell. You can compare the methods to making a smoothie with many ingredients. With an entire bulk of fruit and vegetables, you can only determine the overall flavor of the mixture. But with single cell sequencing, you can sort and investigate all the different ingredients. So instead of looking at all cells as identical, it is now possible to look at many subpopulations that each have different roles that contribute to how the disease grows and resists treatment. Researchers at the Leo Foundation Skin Immunology Research Center will be some of the first in the world to use single cell sequencing to investigate the complex dynamics of skin diseases. 
it will be an important step on the journey to unravel the most widespread skin diseases of the modern lifetime. Our center is an international research center. We work in interdisciplinary teams with a strong connection to our clinical partners. We think that this decade should be the decade of the skin and we will definitely do our part to make it happen.